Hello. Several months ago I made my first video showing you my home Cisco lab. This is the updated version. I have gotten my equipment updated and I've got the office rearranged. Now I'd like to show you what the office looks like and my lab looks like at this time. To the left here is my rack that contains all of my Cisco equipment. I've got my two ADSL uh, DSL units. I've got two separate WAN IPs. I have got a total of five Cisco 2950 catalyst switches. Uh, below that's uh, five 621 XM Cisco routers. I also have a CAT6 patch panel that I use to uh, run jumpers from uh, my workstations to whichever switch I need to put them on to test for networking uh, scenarios. Uh, below that I have my Cisco 5505 security appliance and the 2511 Cisco uh, access server. And on the bottom obviously is my UPS and power strip. Now in this particular office, and you don't have to get this extreme if you're wanting to build a Cisco office or a Cisco lab that is, uh, I have got a total of 10 computers. I've got 8 desktops and 2 laptops. Now the uh, 8 desktops, the towers are located up underneath the um, desk here. Uh, they're all powered up uh, through one central unit which is the uh, power supply here in the UPS and everything. Uh, I've got my 8 desktop monitors here and if you're wondering if it gets warm in this office, this office stays roughly about 5 degrees warmer than any other room in the house which during the winter time is not too bad. During the summer time it can be a real bitch. Uh, now as far as the workstations go here and all the laptops and everything, the operating systems that I am using it's a combination of Windows uh, XP Pro, Windows 7 Ultimate, and I've even got a couple of uh, Windows servers. And I utilize these to mix and match different operating systems with network uh, scenarios. The Windows server, obviously, for testing uh, access control list or any other security uh, function that a server would have. So I'm able to, in fact, I've got all these not in a work group, but they are all part of a domain themselves. Now, for simplicity, going back to the work, going back to the uh, rack over here, for simplicity, I have got obviously all these uh, workstations and laptops set up on static IP addresses. Now, I have got a couple of routers, that, one router for uh, one WAN IP and one for another WAN IP. I basically got the gateways and everything identical so all I need to do when I want to jump move these cables is move them to a different switch or whatever I don't have to reconfigure IP addresses and everything since they're all basically set with uh, internal IP addresses local IP addresses I don't have to worry about uh, reconfiguring or resetting anything and forgetting to set something back so therefore if I'm testing let's say like a VPN they're both, like I said, all set for internal addresses. If I'm testing a VPN, obviously they're going through one WAN IP to another WAN IP, so their internal IP addresses make no difference whatsoever. Now, back to the office itself. Again, I've got my whiteboard over here, which I use for just making notes, keeping little passwords here that I don't really care about. Just a, a general BS board, so I keep some general thoughts and notes right there where they're visible. Obviously, I've got my printer over here, um, and the rest of it is just a general office right now. Over here, which is out of camera view, I do have another desk that I use for working on computers themselves. Right now, I've got a tower and a laptop that I am working on over here. Uh, once again, you don't need to get this elaborate if you want to set up a home Cisco lab. This is a pet peeve of mine. It's a, just a little tiny quirk. I, I've, I've, I'm a techno freak. I like doing stuff like this. So uh, that's my lab in general and my office in general. And if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Just email me at questions at packetbyte.com and I'll get back with you just as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.